Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a home page using the default WordPress theme and the plugin. So when you install WordPress for the first time, you're going to get uh, a home page that looks like this. Okay, this is what the home page looks like. Now, if you want a home page that looks something fancier like this, uh, this is I went to WordPress.org, and you know it's got nice sections, and uh, you know it looks a little nicer than something like this. Uh, you want to use a tool such as a page builder okay to do it using just the WordPress theme especially if you're a beginner will take you a super long time you might not even be able to do it it'll take uh, you know a long time if you don't know HTML CSS and and uh, how to customize WordPress so I would I would stick with a page builder to if you want to create something like this if if you just want your blogs in here as your home page uh, that's great you don't need to put you know add a plugin such as a page builder to uh, you know do this but if you want a nice home page like this uh, then you, you probably want to use a page builder so I'm going to show you how to do that So here I am at my home page and I would install I would recommend installing a plugin. So go to plugins, add new and type Elementor. Okay, Elementor is a, is a plug plugin to help you build uh, nice pages like this okay now I happen to install it if if it wasn't installed you know it would say install now and you just click it all right but uh, you know I happen to install it already so uh, for you just click install now uh, for me uh, I you know I won't do that and after installed you you would have to activate it okay I'll, I'll just show this as an example here I'll install now. And then it would say activate. Mine says network activate because I, I have what's I installed something called a, a multi site WordPress installation. For you, for most people, it'll just say activate and you just click on activate. So once you have that installed, and activated and you can check that it's activated by going to the plugins okay so don't worry about this stuff here actually um, I have to do a couple extra things because I have a multi-site installation but you just go to plugins and you'll see Elementor if it doesn't say activated then that's good right if it says deactivate it means uh, it's already activated alright so you should have Elementor activated now and you want to create your home page so let's let's go to page add new and we'll call this my first home page I'm going to save this draft and then I'll click on edit with Elementor okay so Elementor makes it easy to create a page using these widgets you know you can you just 
drop a widget here and then add your title uh, my first home page okay but if, if you want to create a page like this uh, actually like this one here I just went to wordpress.org you know it, it'll take you a while to uh, do that um, even with Elementor it's faster than using the just the theme tools but uh, is it'll still take you some time what you can do I'm gonna delete this is you can import an entire page okay it's a template so click on this icon here and as you can see you can you can import all sorts of these any of these pages uh, well not necessarily any because some are paid alright when it says go pro you gotta pay alright this is paid this is paid 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 yeah a lot of them are paid so this one's not so this is a business page let's insert this one alright so we've got page here you can publish that take a look at it and there it is now it's not quite what you probably want you know it's it's, it's like on this one side of the page here you know I would I would expect it to be on the you know full page especially for a home page so what you need to do is in the page settings now this is not the Elementor settings this is the actual WordPress page so you click on this edit page you can select usually you can select the type of template uh, that's being used so in this case you want to select the full width alright update it and you can view the page now you see that it takes up the whole page and just like that you've got you've got a home page ready for you uh, just like that and now if you visit the site uh, it doesn't show up so there's one more thing you need to do to set it as your home page so go to dashboard and go to settings and you go to reading go to static page select my first home page that'll be my home page uh, you won't do this but you won't check you shouldn't check this off I'm going to check it off because this is just a demo site but for you if you want visitors to your site uh, don't check this off although if, you, if you're just you know playing with this playing around with the site you know I guess you could check this off first until you're ready to publish it I'll save changes and now I'll visit the site and as you can see now it's my home page and probably what you want to do because you know this is just a template is you want to start editing the content because this is not the stuff you actually want but it's it might be the look that you want so click on edit with Elementor and you know you can just change whatever you want here uh, this could be uh, you know the best you know pet store in the city okay uh, you can click this and, and 
you know, we have thousands of, of uh, pet toys for your hooch. Okay. Uh, you can you can uh, click on this button and and you could you know change this to uh, the zip store, all right? And then you can change the link here. Uh, you know, HTTPS. You know. Cybertestbox.com store, let's say. Update. You can also change all these things here. Right? Everything is is editable. Right? Uh, you can click here, you can click on this this edit icon you can change you can delete it and change add a new image right you can add caption right and as you can see it's it's right there okay so basically just uh, click on something and edit it. This, this, is, uh, this is real visual editing. Once you're done, uh, you know, you could, I haven't changed anything, but you would click on update and you can exit. Now you can view the page again. And now you've got your changes. And you've got a home page. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video and I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.